In the meantime, taking you back to some economic, shall we say, worries going forward. Comic-Con notwithstanding some serious, serious worries for the ski industry right now. Doesn't Mount the heart know it. The Vermont Ski Areas Association president on word right now um, that the demand is there, but maybe the help and uh, the, the labor to provide it might not be there. They need workers, a lot of workers, and they don't have it. Molly, what's going on? Well, I just want to start out and say that uh, skiing is a $1.6 billion industry here in Vermont, so it's obviously very important to our economy that we can hire the people that we need, and um, it's certainly a big driver of other businesses, many and jobs in rural areas, too, and a big part of our tourism sector. Um, we employ about 13,000 people during the winter, and, uh, you know, we have a lot of people to hire as we ramp up because about three-quarters of those jobs our seasonal winter jobs. So, um, you know, in Vermont, we're really facing two related issues, low unemployment rate of, of 3% wow. and uh, a shrinking workforce. Now, it's not as if you're, you're not incentivizing them or offering a good, a good wage. So what is it? That's true. Um, ski areas are definitely paying higher than minimum wage. Our minimum wage in Vermont is 11.75 right now, and several have that starting minimum wages of $15 an hour and are paying considerably more than that for some positions. Um, yet these uh, increased starting wages are really not helping ski areas find the staff that they need. What is it? What's going on? What, 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 what do you hear back? Well, I think, you know, uh, it's just a lack of people. We've lost 30,000 people in the last year and a half from our workforce in this state, which is approaching 9% of our total workforce, and that's pretty significant. And, um, you know, I think we're seeing that uh, not just in the ski industry and not just in Vermont, but sort of across the country, you know, having trouble staffing jobs. And uh, as I mentioned, higher minimum wages, we're offering more benefits to seasonal employees. Many ski areas have child care centers and can make child care available to employees as a benefit. We've heard that, you know, child care or lack thereof is a reason that people are not going back to work. Um, so that can help people, you know, who need child care to choose a, a, a job at a, at a ski area. Employee housing becoming increasingly important. You yeah. know, Vermont, like many other areas of the country, facing a housing shortage. So trying to increase the amount of housing that we can offer. So for those who want to go skiing, are they going to be waiting in lines or some, you know, uh, hills, sites, areas going to be shut down, uh, rolling shutdowns? How do you how do you respond to all this? Well, I think uh, a few things. We're seeing more automation. A good example is, you know, being able to buy your lift tickets before you go and then pick them up at a kiosk when you get to the ski area. Streamlining of operations, so maybe more grab-and-go items rather than cook-to-order. Uh, prioritizing of operations, so we may well see, you know, ski areas tend to have uh, a number of different food and beverage venues. We probably won't see all of those open this year. Um, we're seeing cross-training, so uh, hiring of employees that can move to different departments as the skier um, guest demand changes throughout the day. And then also training of year-round back-of-the-house employees to be able to fill some of those guest-facing jobs. All right. Please keep us posted, Molly. Hang in there. And for you and, and your entire industry, I realize as someone who used to live in Vermont, this is a vital industry, an important industry, and in a very beautiful state. So hopefully things get better. Uh, Molly Mayhar following all of that, the Vermont Ski Areas Association president.